Okay, so in this one, we're going to talk about the power of a product. And sometimes that's confusing, maybe like, what are they talking about? So let's say you have um, something like x squared, y cubed, and you want to raise the whole thing to the fourth power. Well, then what you're really saying is you have x squared, y cubed, times x squared, y cubed, times x squared, y cubed, times x squared, y cubed. Well, it's all multiplication. So if you took all the x squareds, right, and you put those together, and then you took all the y cubes, and you put those together, then you'd have x to the 8th, it looks like, and y to the 12th. That would be the answer. Okay, so how can we get out of doing all this? <laughs> well, it's kind of like distributing. I mean, it's not distributing, but it, it reminds me of it. You're going the 4 times the 2, right? Power to a power, and the 4 times the 3. Or another way, if you wanted to think of it, is you have the x squared to the 4th, right? And you have the y cubed to the 4th. And then that's going to give you the x to the 8th and the y to the 12th. Okay, now here's the rule, how it looks. We say if you have AB to the nth, this is the product they're talking about. So you have two different bases that are being multiplied together, and they're in parentheses, and then there's this exponent on the outside. Well, then that equals A to the nth, B to the nth. Okay, so that's the rule. That's how we look at it. All right, so here comes some examples. Simplify each of the following as much as possible using the power of product rule. Write the answers with positive exponents. Okay. So, again, you might want to think of that a as a to the first. So, you're going to go 3 times 1 for the a and then 3 times 2 for the b. So, it's going to be a cubed b to the sixth. Because 3 times 2 is 6. Okay. All right, now, what do we do on this next one? You've got a 2 there. That 2 is its own base, and a lot of times students forget that. So it's 2 to the 15th, t to the 15th. Now, I don't know what 2 to the 15th is. Let me grab a calculator real quick. This is always fun to listen to me put it in on my calculator. 2 to the 15th. Ah, wow, it's a big number. I would leave it 2 to the 15th, but in case you want to see it, it's 32,768 t to the 15th. I would be happy if you just left it this way, but if you really want to know what that um, 2 to the 15th is, there it is. Usually put a comma there. Okay. Now what about this next one? Well, I'm going to have the negative 2, and I've got to cube that. So think of that like a 1, and it's 3 times that 1. And then it's going to be w to the 9th. Now, the negative 2 cubed, that's a fairly small number. Negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. That's negative 8, w to the 9th. Again, you could use a calculator to get that. Okay, now the last one here. Okay, we're going to have 1 over, and then it's going to be negative 7 to the 4th power. I don't know what that is. And then z to the 4th power. Again, that negative 7 to the 4th, that's going to be a big number. Um, by the way, it's going to be positive, but 7 to the 4th, uh, 22,401. You might want a calculator handy if you're going to multiply them out. And again, I would be okay with this because that negative 7 to the 4th, it's not super big, but it's a little big. Okay. And then we've got one more here. All right, so I can multiply this 7 into the exponents. I've got two bases, just the e and the f. So I've got e to the negative 14 and f to the 14. But remember, they said no negative exponents in the answer. So I'm going to have to move this part because it's got the negative exponent. So if you're a positive exponent, stay put. But if you're a negative exponent, in this case, it's going to go to the denominator. So it's going to look like this. f to the 14 over e to the 14. Okay? 
So you play around with them. It takes a while to get used to these things and the rules and using them and stuff, but it'll be fun. You just got to practice a little bit.